Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. This is high summer, strong winds, hot winds, dry winds. The summer heat, the heat wave, just came too quickly, meaning Everything was green, it was cool, and then within three days it changed from less than 30 to 42 degrees Celsius, and the humidity dropped from something in 80 85 percent to 15 percent. And the wind speed increased from about 10, 14 to 40 kilometers an hour. You are eating my fig tree. Do you have a stomach problem? Oh my God, if it's not the drought and the heat and this grasshoppers, then it's the dogs. Okay, so. We planted some figs, it's growing, but this is the second summer, it's here. And this is the Hara brush that takes advantage from the water we supply. And this is a home oak. Then we had some cuttings, one here, this is something I don't count it, cannot even identify. This is the wild fig, a sabuche. This is an ornamental peach, with beautiful pink flower. It's amazing that that one is growing from seed. Okay, this is another fig. More dried out cuttings, more dried out cuttings. And then a fig. And then the hackberry. And then the goji berry. And a pine tree, it's its first season here. Some dead cuttings. So what is heartbreaking is these cuttings I took from a farm, a pear tree that is more than a 100, 125 years old. It sprouted, it got leaves, and then with this first heat wave, it just shrivels up and it's gone. The same with this one. This is the Pavlovnia. There's a pumpkin coming. There is a melon. And this is also something vine-like. Anyway, I can carry on like this. It is not the most pleasing sight, but um, we have to learn. We have to grow. I have planted almost 600 cuttings and I think as I look through all of this I might have 50 if I'm lucky and that's now and that's not the end of the season lemongrass these 
all these plants were well watered in this heat I water every second day for two hours so uh, the leaves are plump and healthy and there's no shortage of water and then another fig and this is a quince and our Paulovnia so this is a Paulovnia cutting they took I'm happy so uh, the successes are few and far between okay I have to look for a success story <laughs> I'm here at the bottom of the creek where this temporary crossing is where I dug a hole beautiful oleander flowers and then I have planted some um, plants here some cuttings so which is interesting this is the the goji berry it's very lanky but it's alive this is a willow and this one I don't know there's a rose this is a, a oleander another rose this is in the shade afternoon shade well drained soil this is my gem squash from South Africa do yourself a favor plant them if you live in a Mediterranean climate or a dry climate and they can be harvested soon cut them in half with a saw because the shell is hard and boil it in water add sugar butter and cinnamon once you've taken it out and you have a dessert it is not sweet in itself but this is how we have learned to eat it and it's actually very tasty this is a heavy clay berm of a swale by the way those cracks are good for seeds they fall in there and they survive the heat they don't dry out the strategy for the future is to plant not cuttings not small plants but seeds this is a chestnut I planted from seed I bought a packet in the supermarket and uh, its roots are now well established here I have some pumpkin and uh, I have experimented for the last six weeks every week I planted some seeds to see when it is good the only issue is that every year is different 
This year was actually cool until very late in the year and therefore the big shock when the heat came and we still have to process that. This is the first year I'm not in shock, disappointed, uh, running away in horror. It was a beautiful uh, blackberry and uh, very promising, lots of fruit and then overnight it's gone. So then next year, it's, or in October, it starts again. So this is what is left. A beautiful plant. Um, so this is the bimodal state of the Mediterranean climate. Two seasons to pause and two seasons to grow. But look at all the little plants from the oak, the cork oak here. They love this. I mean, it's absolutely amazing how they enjoy themselves. So this is the seed that is growing, um, the taproot actually grows from the seed, gets its nutrition from the seed, establishes itself, then it actually starts producing leaves. Strategy, strategy change less planting of trees, cuttings of small plants, more planting of seeds. These are sunflowers. They've never received a drop of rain or irrigation. And now it's making a flower and it's going to produce seeds. Absolutely amazing. I admire that. The Vachalia Karu is still doing very well. Still growing. Now it's having its flowers. And once again it's not a mimosa. I am making a trench to bury this water pipe. It runs from the square green flat inflatable water tank down to the garden around the house and also to the pond and also to the lower areas of the land. I am through with pulling pipes all over the place. Put it in, cover it. I don't see it. It's permanent. It doesn't get damaged. Way to go! These Olofnia fig and mulberry trees are growing well. I wonder, I water them <laughs> very often. They are here facing the setting sun, the afternoon sun. They get a lot of heat. This is what our jungle looks like. Till next time, goodbye.